So, I uh, So let me go ahead and come on here before I um, convince myself not to record this video. And um, yes, I was crying. I'm in the car. <clears throat> it is 111 right now. And uh, I just got home. So it's just funny how one minute you can be completely fine, happy, laughing, dancing, and just in good spirits to just being reminded of something that just completely brings you to tears. It just takes one trigger, just one trigger. <coughs> Now, a lot has been coming up for me this month, or I would say for the past few weeks actually, but even more so this month of October. Today is October 12th. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but um, a lot of triggers, there's just simple things have been triggering me and taking me back to a space or taking me back to that moment when I was literally scared for my life. That moment where I honestly thought that... I was going to die right and the people who were involved the person who was doing it and the person who stood by and watched like I don't even know how to explain this but like in my mind I felt like I'm at a space now where this, like I've acknowledged what happened, I know what happened, and I've been actively dealing with it, facing it. But it's not until recently that I realized that there's so much about what happened to me that I blacked out, and now things are just coming up. And as much as I don't want them to, I know they need to, but these things are like, I can't even... Like, I can't even believe that that happened to me, you know? So anyways, one of the things that I'm going to push myself to do is share my story in detail, in raw, unfiltered, unedited details. And um, share it on my Patreon. Because whether anyone watch it or not it'll be therapeutic for me to just say it out loud and put it out there where in a safe space where I know that if anybody does end up watching it it's people who actually is investing in knowing my story um, because that means you took the time and the resource to join my patreon right i don't have the words to explain like how i'm feeling right now like i just got home from my sister's game night for her birthday party i mean for her birthday celebration and i was having a, i had a great time i was singing i was laughing i was dancing and on the ride home i listened to um i was listening to keisha cole and the song trust and believe came on and I'm singing it and now I'm like blasting the music and singing because it's late and that's one way to keep me up while I'm driving this late because I'm usually not out this late at all and like midway through the song like I'm just in tears because it's like when somebody you really that you really trusted and loved do like the worst thing 
imagine to you. And they show no remorse. They show no remorse. They don't even care. They never apologize. They never hold themselves accountable. I have to live with that because I'm never going to get any of those things. Because now he's physically not here. I have to be okay with knowing that I would never get an apology from him. I would never hear him say I was wrong. I would never hear him say that I shouldn't have done that to you. That was my second trigger for the day. Earlier today, I'm watching a show called Beyond a Reasonable Doubt, I think it's called, on Hulu. I think the new season, season two, came out a couple months ago and I didn't realize it because I wasn't subscribed to Hulu anymore. But when I was, I did watch season one and I enjoyed the show. So when I saw who uh, that season two had came out, I signed up. And um, I'm probably like five episodes in, maybe four or five. And I've been watching this season with no issue. But one of the episodes that I was watching today, apparently the, the, the theme of this season is a case regarding domestic violence and a wife who killed her husband in self-defense right they're charging her with murder but she's saying it was self-defense <clears throat> of course the case is still unfolding and it's a show so i'm not gonna know exactly what happened until the end but regardless he was abusing her right and um whenever they do like flashbacks of her thinking about what happened today i watched the episode where they actually played what happened before he died like how he was beating on her and when he slapped her head against the wall like, i felt like it was my head getting hit you know when he was choking her i felt like i was being choked because i know how it feels like nobody really understand it's the scars that you can't see that hurt the most because that man ain't never leave a scar on me until he fractured my nose. But I was in so much pain. My chest was hurting. My throat was hurting. I couldn't eat because my throat was so sore from him choking me so hard and for so long. Like nobody really knows what I battle because I have to be okay. For my children i have to provide i have to work i have to just be a mother and i have so much responsibilities i don't have the luxury of thinking and sitting in my feelings the way i need to because when i do when i allow when i allow myself to heal or when it hits me in the face by a trigger and i can't do anything to avoid it this is the result of it but yet, this is part of the healing process that I don't get to do often. So I want to share my story in detail. Every bit of detail that I could bring myself to remember. Every gruesome thing, every unspeakable thing that he did to me. Because I think if I don't get it out, it's going to eat me alive. And I am in therapy. But honestly, I have not been actually talking about the details of the abuse. I talk about like how it affect me or when things come up or triggers that I've noticed I've had when it comes to relationship and men. And all of this has been helping because I'm in a much better space. But when it comes to talking openly about the details of what he did to me, literally, probably only three people know. And one of those people are my therapist. Nobody else knows. All because I'm scared to taint the image of other people who were involved.
I don't know where I'm posting this video but I told myself that I'll try to be a little bit more vulnerable and not only record when I've come on the other side because I know there's so many other women out there struggling and battling this type of fight there's so many other women who didn't make it out alive like I did like we are in a time where it seems like men just don't value women the way they're supposed to you know it's like all you hear and see these days on the media the locally so many domestic violence cases you know just here on this small island alone women are suffering <laughs> You know, so women are suffering. It's like it's so hard to feel safe. It's so hard to feel safe. It's so hard to trust that a man is who he said he is. Because they could put on a show. My goodness, they could put on a show. And they could make that show last for years. And it's only when they know they've got you comfortable and dependent on them in some way, shape, or form, they show their true colors. You know, nothing scarier than a master manipulator and a narcissist. I swear to you, I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life than to end up in a situation like that again. Anyways, <clears throat> this was hard, but it's part of the process. So if you're a victim of domestic violence, if you're currently in it, if you're a survivor, whatever stage of this journey you're in, know that you're not alone know that you're not alone because it's so easy to feel alone it's so easy to be surrounded by people who just don't understand people who just don't get it know that you're not alone reach out for help there are organizations there's people there's things that you can do you know if you're local on St. Croix there's organizations here to help you just reach out gosh the one organization that, that have been doing so much for me from the time I got back is Hope um, the nonprofit sector of girlfriendism y'all don't even understand how important it is to have a safe space and uh, people who understand what you've been through having a sister circle <sighs> I'm grateful for that organization i truly am uh, anyways again i'm gonna end this video to all my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video Throne queen, know you got that goddess energy. Sing your soul queen, manifesting your reality.